Stalin monuments in Russia are becoming more and more numerous. New statues of the dictator are being installed even on children's playgrounds. For example, one of such Stalin bursts appeared in the children's park in the town of Orlov in the Kirov region. Many citizens are outraged that the authorities did not coordinate such actions with local residents. In this regard, the head of the Orlov city has pointed out that such authoritarian decisions that affect the interests of thousands of residents are unacceptable. Now the Vyatka Regional Public Organization of Victims of Political Repressions and also active citizens of the Orlov city have sent the statement to the prosecutor's office on the matter of installation of this monument. From the message in Padyom Telegram channel. During the reign of Joseph Stalin, millions of people fell victims to mass repressions in the USSR. After the dictator's death, many repressed people were rehabilitated, and objects associated with Stalin, including cities, were renamed. Monuments to the Soviet leader were also torn down. The revival of the authority of inhuman crimes of the Soviet regime is a consequence of the deliberately chosen policy, experts believe. Russia is a country. Russia is a country of executioners on the one hand, and on the other hand it is a country of victims of these executioners. And since Putin is a representative of the very country that repressed and killed, and of course he would like as few people as possible to know about the crimes of Stalin's regime, and at the same time he needs to somehow justify today's repression. In October, Stalin's statue was installed at the burial place of victims of mass repressions in Tver region. In August, a monument to Stalin was installed in Veliky Luki, Pskov region. Journalists from We Can Explain Media calculated that there are 110 Stalin monuments in Russia, 95 of which were installed during Putin's regime. The pace of their construction doubled after the annexation of Crimea in 2014. He rehabilitates Stalin in order to rehabilitate himself, his bloody tyranny, his imperialist cause, to show that this is all rooted in Russian history and has glorious predecessors, in particular Stalin. There is also a subjective moment here. Putin internally understands that when he dies, the same sin will happen to his memory that happened to Stalin. Another monument for executioners of Russian Empire times, General Mikhail Muravyov, was installed in Kaliningrad. Muravyov was called the one who hangs after the suppression of the Polish uprising of 1831, when he was the governor of Grodno. At that time, he himself emphasized that he was the kind of man who hangs others. Also, Muravyov, already being the governor, brutally suppressed the uprising of 1863, after which he got a new nickname – Augur. This uprising was led by Kastus Kalinovsky, whose name is given to the Belarusian unit fighting now on the side of Ukraine against the Russian Federation. In 1864, Kalinovsky was publicly hanged on Muravyov's order, and his corpse was hidden near Gediminas Tower in Vilnius, where it was found in 2017. From a report by Sota in Telegram. The glorification of tyrants in Russia is taking place along with the demolition of monuments to repressed people of the Soviet Union. According to media reports, at least 15 such cases are known. 11 monuments to repressed foreigners and four to foreign military personnel have been demolished. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.